Hello guys, good morning, welcome, Sim UK here. We're back with a brand new episode of Space Crew and I'm so glad that some of you guys at least are enjoying it out there. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and press on and get a couple more missions under our belt. You can see we've got seven missions completed so far. 13,000 total credits earned, 5,000 research gain, zero ships lost, zero crew members lost, which is quite surprising. 24 jumps completed, 142 enemy ships destroyed, and 26 enemy boarders killed. 26 enemy boarders, that's ridiculous. Let's go have a look and see what new gear we've got. Um, goofy looking, nervously happy, not happy at all, happy, status shock, and just chill, chilled Bill, I think we'll call this guy, that's the captain obviously, I don't know what everyone's worried about, it's fine, bloody aliens, right, uh, what's new then, what's new, hmm, I don't know what's new, crew gear, maybe one of these have got something, What's new? I don't see anything new. I'm confused. Basic equipment. Custom loadout. Oh, maybe it's here. Okay, so this is where it is. Right. So we've got this, like, hazmat suit that will protect them from radiation, a tad. That might not be a terrible idea. What's this one? That's, like, armoured. Yeah, see, I was thinking about putting the, uh, the rear gunner, at least, in a hazmat suit. But he takes a lot of shots. A lot of hits against him so i'm thinking it's probably better that we keep him with the armored suit for now at least um okay well i don't think there's anything else a holster what's this oh 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 looky looky what we've got here where's the engineerio montari montanari i think you need to have this advanced engineering tool which greatly improves the efficiency of repairing ship systems that's what I've been looking for. That's quite important. Armoured hands. Makes you 5% slower. I'm not too bothered about that, to be honest. What about the boots? Powered boots. These boots provide some additional mobility. But uh, obviously less uh, protection uh, than these. But that's okay, because we negated the 5% that we lost by putting gloves on. So that was quite a good move. I'm quite happy I did that. Really, I ought to do these kind of upgrades at the end of a mission rather than at the beginning of a mission. Have we got the new weapons? We have. We've got the Plasma Cannon and the Auto Cannon Mark One. We've got to install this all the way round. I hope we've got enough. I've been deliberately holding off buying anything so that we can get this excellent. So we now have plasma and cannon all around the ship. That is going to help us so much. What can we do with the engine? Standard engine Mark 1, or we can upgrade to a low performance engine designed for safety. It allows moderate evasiveness and is not very well armored. When damaged, radiation emissions are very low. Hmm, interesting, but slower. Fifteen hundred. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's install those and see if that makes a difference. Because I was thinking about uh, putting the hazmat suits on the guys, but uh, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. You can see this gun here is switching between the plasma, and it rotates, and out comes the cannon. That should really help us. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the missions. Let's take something easy. <laughs> let's transport some uh, supplies let's do that should we take the uh, easy route we'll take the safe route today oh crap we've received classified information that the enemy champion Hupen Garat has been active in the mission area oh great I have not been able to take this guy down but we've got four brand new guns We've got two brand new engines. Maybe, just maybe, today's the day. The safest route is Earth the Moon. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's take off Capitano. El Capitano. El Capitano. Hey, up. 
my mouse combo is not working. What's going on? Buddy. Logitech G Hub, fire up, please. Well, that's absolutely not working. This is a. Uh... Oh well, that's that's most odd. Oh man, sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to rebind my stuff here because. For some reason, my profile has disappeared. Um, yeah, my profile has disappeared off of uh, G-Hub, so we're going to have to uh, put it back in again. Most irritating, I can assure you. Right, uh, assignments, so, what is it, El Capitano, who wants Engineerio, we want the radio comms, we want security, All I do basically with my uh, mouse um, is I bind uh, the the numbers of the crew. So the captain is a, a right click, uh, the engineer is a left click, then we've got uh, the guy, <laughs> Paredes, and then Brown is on this one, and then we've got the two rear gunners, which I always bind back to front. God damn it, I've just realised I've done it again. So let's just, let me just fix this. Uh, so maybe six. That one's going to five. Let me get that gun. get that health right so this is the cargo we're dropping off guys and um, you can see everything's floating around which means that we shouldn't we don't have gravity we do have gravity why are they floating about that makes no sense whatsoever all right so with these new guns we're absolutely gonna kick ass let's go get it done the star catcher is airborne we are up and running guys we are floating away that's the fastest route I want the safest route I do hate having to rotate with the mouse I really wish they just allow us to do that with the keyboard I was thinking about it earlier I was thinking about a way of explaining it to you so that you could understand why it's so frustrating and what I came up with was when you're flying because a lot of people fly aircraft with a keyboard and mouse but therein lies the secret, is, you know, you need a keyboard and a mouse, not just the mouse. I do find that rather irritating. Anyway, new engines looking rather nice. They certainly look more sleek and sexy, in my humble. Um, bit of an odd-looking ship, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, we'll just bolt these guns on the outside, sir. No problem. A little bit strange. A little bit strange. All right, so we're by the safest route. Let's charge ourselves up. Now, I haven't played for a couple of days because I wanted to see how, how much you guys liked the first couple of episodes. So uh, I'm a little bit rusty. So that's why we're taking the super safe route today. If we can. Bearing in mind that they're... Uh, 
Bearing in mind that their uh, superhero. There's a lot going on here, sorry. Yeah, okay, route update, perfect. Their, um, their enemy. Their best enemy fighter is uh, in, the, in the vicinity today, so we're going to try and kick his ass. Oh, hello. Hello, what we got here? Defensive manoeuvring. Let's try and keep them at bay. Focus fire. Let's see how these new guns work. We'll get some focus fire on both of them. Oh, that was pretty easy. Oh. Couple more sneaky little cheeky ones. Look at the shields. They've got all three of our three of our four shields down. How did that happen? They just drop our shields so easily, it's not really on. Oh, another sneaky little cheeky sod trying to get access to the ship. Yeah, dealt with. Take that, scumbag. Oh, bloody hell, more of them. So we're going to boost up, I think. Get some more power on those guns, because there's quite a few of them flicking about and being awkward. Take gravity off. Oh, you know what I'm not doing? I haven't put anyone on the guns. That's why we're having such a horrible time. I told you I haven't played for a while. Alright, Captain, we need some evasive manoeuvres here. We're taking too much damage. This is the easy route, guys. This is the... <laughs> this is the safe way to do it. And already we're nearly destroyed. This is like wave number four or something. It's just insane, this game. Honestly, the stress levels that this game produces is ridiculous. And it would be alleviated so much if you could just move the bloody camera with the keyboard. Honestly. Okay, the shields are back up. The invasive manoeuvre has been successful. Although that does make us miss everything. We may have to go stealthy here. Because they really are doing quite a lot of damage to us. Focus fire, focus fire. Great, we've got an engine down. Come on, finish this guy. I can't believe how much of a bashing we're taking in this very first mission. So that should be emitting less radiation, which I didn't think we were going to get to see quite so flipping early. Uh, El Capitano, where the hell's the, the thing? Okay, stay that spacesuit. Get yourself some health. But the captain's actually taking a bit of a, a battering there. Not too bad, I suppose. Charging for hyper jump. We're going to take our time here, guys. We're going to let everyone just get themselves back up and running. I, I must say, though, that that tool he's got definitely helped him get the... Uh, Oh, what? 
Oh yeah. What's going on? Captain, get in your seat for goodness sake. Yeah, that tool we gave him certainly seems to have uh, enabled him to fix that engine a lot quicker than usual, which is great stuff. So I assume we're heading there. Get everybody back on their stations for a minute. When are we going to get attacked? So, enemies incoming. Where? Where, where, where? There, there, there. Gravity off, weapons up. Oh, got some more coming in. Some sneaky cheeky sods. Got around the outside of me there. I didn't spot them straight away. And we're going to get boarded. Nope, we got away with it. We got away with it. My goodness me, this is ridiculous. Shield situation is pretty diabolical. We are they are dropping our shields so ridiculously quickly. That is insane how quickly they're de destroying our shields. Do not like that one bit. We very nearly got boarded there. Okay, Brown, come get back on here. I suppose Montanari has no reason to. Uh, Do anything. Uh, Mitchell has taken a bit of a battering. Let's give Mitchell a bit of a healing situation. Montanari can sneak back into his seat eventually. Turn gravity back on. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to be patient, guys. Being, uh, being all forthful and Intense is great, but at times, you know, just taking that extra 20 seconds just to let your crew heal and everybody get better is clearly the right thing to do. So Mitchell's back on his seat. That is good. The captain's a little bit damaged, but fine. So, so far, all good. So far, all good. Let's charge. I fear this is where we're going to meet Wass's face, the enemy bad guy. Warning, asteroids. Okay, they're under attack and we've got to get through the... Uh, we've got to get through the, the belt and no doubt we'll get attacked at the same time. Because that's just the way it rolls in this game. Yep, there we go. There's our first set of attackers. Focus fire, not quite ready. Perhaps I should have waited. Aim accuracy, 54%. That's slightly less than good, isn't it? I'm hoping it's harder for them to get near us because of the asteroids. So we just got hit there. I've taken that shield down immediately. They come, thick and fast. Right, let's get that focus fire on. We're keeping a close eye on the situation here. We've got no shield at the front, but they're not currently attacking us at the front. 
get the captain flying in a defensive way. Right, we're going to boost. We're just going to double up the weapons. I'm surprised we haven't seen the enemy super duper fighter yet. The enemy ace, as he would have been called in World War II. Or World War I even. So do you know what? I, I was wholeheartedly convinced that um, having those dual guns all around the ship would help us a lot. But actually, I kind of feel like it's not as effective as it ought to be. Oh. Coming in close. Do you see what I mean? It's not doing... Oh, you know why? I keep doing this. I forget to put people on the guns, so we've only got half the guns firing at the moment. That's my fault. There we go. Now, we, now we're now we hitting him with three guns. That's going to make a much, much bigger impact. <laughs> I have really got to stop doing that. That's a silly mistake to make. Okay, they're ready to receive cargo. Let's drop the cargo off. This game is so stress-inducing, it's ridiculous. Cargo is gone. That's 50% of the mission successfully completed. Cargo secure. Thanks for the prompt delivery, Captain. Have a safe journey home. Thank you, Patrick. I do hope that's the case. I'm just going to get some healing on the go. Um, get some gravity on so we speed that process up. I think El Capitano could probably do with a squidge of health as well. It really doesn't last very long, this health kit. Quite frightening, really. Everybody has their emergency health pack. Of course, uh, if anybody gets downed, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one for each crew member. Which is uh, probably the minimum you should have, I imagine. Can't foresee having any more than that would be a good idea. Right, so I think that's going to use up pretty much all of our remaining... Oh no, we might have a smidge left. Just for top-ups. Okay then, let's get our asses in gear. Get the ship launched. I just want to make sure we've got boost here. We've got overdrive, which is dangerous because it creates radiation. Um, what about the rear gunners? Their focus fire is on and ready. Good, 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 good. Got fighter support if we need it. We've got, uh, yeah, okay, good. I think we're ready. Let's launch. Ship's looking a little bit worse for wear. No doubt something to do with the fact that I keep... Uh, fastest route, safest route. Let's take the safest route. We just want to complete this mission. I think I'm going to swap these guns out. Um, I know I keep forgetting to put people on the guns, which is what's causing the main problem. But I just feel like if we had maybe just one gun that dropped uh, the... Oh my god, that asteroid's coming straight for us. Then. If we had just one gun that was designed specifically for taking out... That's going to hit us. Oh, crikey. Yeah, if we just had one gun that was designed for taking down enemy shields, I think that would help us out a lot. We're not going to get attacked this time on the way out. That is pretty surprising. Pretty surprising indeed, guys and girls. Right, charging up. Charging up. Engage. Engage. And we're going to go back to base. Nice and... Oh, no, 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 no. 
Now, I haven't had many of these. Identify Phasmid technology. Um, but this is where we're going to get attacked, I'm telling you now. Um, this really helps you progress so much quicker, so it's so worth doing it. Scannable in 400 meters. And enemies incoming. Of course they are. Of course they are. Of course they are. They come. No! Just put the captain on there by accident. I'm calling in fighter support. Did we get it? I think we got it. Get ourselves in the position where we can leave. Uh, that's our that's our fighters. I was really expecting that to take a lot longer and for us to be in a lot worse situation. Uh, replenish shields, please. How are we doing? A couple more enemies popping up over here. Fighters are doing a great job. Get focus fire on the go. More fighters coming in from above. Okay, this is definitely where the fight's going to start, isn't it? But we're making short work of them. That was really quite good. Oh, oh! Uh... Captain's down. We've got eight seconds to heal him. Oh my gosh. And we've just been boarded. Look at this. How did that happen? I'll tell you how that happened. It's one of the sneaky, sneaky gits snuck through and got to us whilst I was busy doing everything else. Right, so the captain's back up, which is good. Shields aren't looking too bad, but I think for a, for a moment here we're just going to go stealth mode, which allows me to uh, just get some stuff sorted out. Like for example, we've got a fire here. Definitely need a, a fire extinguisher over this side. Right, gravity's back on. Grab the fire extinguisher. I can't believe we've only got two fire extinguishers on this ship. That doesn't seem enough. But of course, whilst we are in stealth mode, they can't see us. But if I move brown, Stealth mode turns off, which I find incredib incredibly frustrating. Absolutely no need for that. Okay, get rid of these remaining fighters. Put that back. Fix the O2, because if we haven't got O2, everybody's going to die. Okay. That didn't seem all that intense, but trust me. The clunky controls make this game far more stressful than it need be, I tell you. Simple things you want to do just become difficult because of the clunky controls. Um, let's put this gun back in its correct position. Oh, I can't click on it. That's... See, that in itself is quite irritating. Oh, great. More fighters. Where, 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 where?
Hopefully the engine's in a critical state. Well, that was fixed pretty quickly. Come on, Brown, I clicked you to go into the gun. Go into the gun. Right, so I think we're going to see off these guys and then we'll be okay. Then we'll be good to go. Might be a, a good time for me to think about getting some better armament on the ship. Because they seem to be breaking through our shields incredibly quickly. What's broken? The O2 again. I just fixed that two seconds ago. They're taking our shields down so quickly. They've actually damaged the ship quite a lot. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you can see that large sections of the ship are now red in colour. Right, the captain needs a bit of healing. Now normally the captain doesn't take any damage at all, but <laughs> not today. Today the captain's had a right kick in. I'm actually quite glad we haven't seen their uh, fighter ace because this gun combo is not working as well as I hoped it would. Having said that, we have got double uh, cannons on both of these, so you'd think they'd be a little more effective. So, you're in need of some health. Heal thyself. Engage. So I think that's it. I think that's our last jump. I think we're home. We're safe. We've made it to Earth, the moon. Oh, no, no. We've still got one more jump. There it is. Base. Let's see if we get attacked here. Enemies incoming. This is where we're going to meet the nasty, nasty chap, isn't it? This is where it's going to happen. Fighters incoming. Get both our gunners onto focus fire. Make sure that everybody's on a gun and every gun is manned. El Capuchano. Bit of evasive piloting would be good right now. Just to allow us to get those shields back up to 100%. Still no sign of the ace, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. And I'm loath to bring in fighter support, just in case he turns up. Oh god. Shield, shield, oh my god, the shield recharge is broken. Right, we're going to have to do something here, we're going to have to go stealth mode. They are going to have to leave us alone so that I can fix all this stuff. No way I can get all this done on my own soon. Because that's the problem and I guess, you know, the design of the game is you have so, so few crew members um, that you actually end up needing... Well, you just need more crew, effectively. Because as soon as you have to fix anything or anybody's injured, that's it. You're completely, completely screwed. Right, we're going to go for the boost. We're going to get the engines up. Turn that off. Put the shields on two. Weapons on two. And we're ready to fight. We're ready to fight you. Ah, see? Now we kick some ass. Gosh, we made that look easy, didn't we? Okay. One jump to go home, and that's it. 
Boost those engines right up. Get there as quick as possible. Everybody's health is okay. Nobody's in a desperate state. But uh, the ship's looking a little bit worse for wear. Fair to say. A little bit damaged. Teeny tiny bit of scratching on the edges there. Power prioritised for engines. Yep, I gave that command about 10 minutes ago. Thanks for finally confirming it. That's great. Not in any way distracting me from what I'm trying to do. That's wonderful. Ready to charge. We're charging up. Going to be a successful mission, guys and girls. Engage you. Home, where the buffaloes roam. I suspect at some point we're going to get attacked here. I think there's going to be like a final battle, and it's going to happen here. I just get, I just get the distinct impression that that's how this game is going to roll. So everyone's home safely. Uh, the ship is mostly in one piece, and uh, overall, I'm quite happy way things worked but our shields are shockingly useless so if we've got enough cash coming in hopefully we will I'm going to try and do something about that maybe like I said uh, increase the hull integrity somewhat if possible something's got to happen oh we've got some leveling up going on guys some new abilities no doubt what have we got reactor boost 2 Weapon overdrive. We've got two weapon overdrives. That's so cool. My mouse is behaving very oddly. It keeps having dead spots in its movement. Very strange. Okay. Um, reactor boost 2. Temporarily gives a medium boost to the power output of the reactor. Increased weapon damage, but will cause a radiation leak or risk fire. Or risk of fire. Oh, joy. Happy, happy joy. Efficient Reactor Mark 1, an efficient ship reactor, while not particularly well armoured, this reactor provides a lot of power output. So that's that's the toss up. With with every positive, there's always a negative in this game. So uh, yes, we can we can upgrade what's this? Standard shields. We've already upgraded the shields. So they're absolutely pants, aren't they? Uh, the balance reactor produces four units of power. This one produces seven units of power, but only got 125. So it's like already half damaged. And it's bloody expensive. So that, that will be okay as long as I have our engineer sat working on the broken thing. Uh, that's the key. As long as you've got somebody who can repair it when it's damaged, you'll be fine. But that does mean that we lose radar and communications and we lose... So basically we lose all of the functionality of the ship because we have to man the guns. Ah, oh, man. Honestly, this game <laughs> just deliberately makes life more difficult, doesn't it? I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I'm not sure. I'm tempted, but I'm not sure. Our research points are so low. Did we do any training yet? Is anyone capable of training? It's the crew training room. Yeah, once they're at a certain level, you can train them with a the secondary skill. So they're all level five. Well, that's rather disappointing. That would be quite handy though, at level 8 he'll inspire the crew, recharging some abilities and restoring their health. That's pretty cool, that's a nice little feature. What are we missing? Automatically tag enemies at level 12. Man, that is miles away. Also, quick question, why are they not in order? Why is level 6 at the bottom, level 9 and then 12? So, like they're in reverse order, because we've already got that first thing. Calls in a friendly cruiser to provide assistance. 
Analyzes the performance of the crew, increasing XP gained for a short duration. So very interesting. Reactor boost three. I'm sure, that's going to produce uh, a lot of nuclear issues, nuclear waste issues as a result. Okay, okay. So this is the only question then. Do we go for that very expensive upgrade, which sounds great? It's, do you know what the problem with this is? I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you my thought process on this. Where is the system gone? So if we keep the engineer in the middle of the ship, then we can run around and we can basically fix anything that's broken, uh, including the reactor, which is this bit here. This is where the engineer normally sits. So we can fix the reactor immediately because it's like two centimeters away even without turning on the gravity, although turning on the gravity is much quicker. Obviously, with only four units of power, we are constantly flicking and twisting between having uh, gravity and having guns, having shields, etc. Maybe if we go for this, with the extra three units, we can put all of that on the shields, and that will just give us more time to do stuff. So, I'm going to do it. On, for that reason alone and he's just going to have to repair it constantly he's got that little tool on his belt so he should be able to repair it quick enough um, so it should all be fine it should all be gravy baby that's my thinking anyway alright guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's episode please hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah if you're interested in this game then definitely put it on your wish list. And as I've said in every video so far, the last time I looked, uh, Bomber Crew, which is the original game from this, is £1.50 on Steam right now. Nobody in the world would buy that and think that they've been ripped off. It's such a good game, and for £1.50, I mean, come on. That's worth getting just at that price. Even if you never play it, it's worth having it in your arsenal. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Until next time. Goodbye.